Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of Scandal. And oh my gosh, guys, this episode was really good. I liked it. Um, the auction is on for Olivia. Uh, there's just so much craziness going on. It's really weird that they're selling Olivia. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about the storyline. But I personally feel like Papa Pope is behind the last minute bid to um, close down the auction. That's just my take on it. Um, but wow. Okay. So let's start at the beginning. Abby is so unaware that um, Olivia has been missing. She's been calling. No answer. She sits on the bench at the White House to try to meet up with her for coffee. No word. She goes to her house. So this brings her to Pope and Associates and Huck. And Quinn basically kick her out. And she's she tries to point out to them like, hello, I was a gladiator before any of you guys were. So what is going on? And it isn't until she finds out from the president that Olivia has been kidnapped. Then she goes to David Rosen. She gives him a full laundry list of why he should have told her that Olivia was missing, that she's her best friend, that she's her only friend. And you should have told me this. And um, he's like, look, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> but at the end of it, he said, look, you're, she's not your only friend. Um, so they kind of had a nice little moment at the end of it. But I felt bad for, for Abby because, yeah, your best friend is missing and... Nobody can get her back at this point. So, of course, Olivia tried to strike up a deal with Ian to um, use her as leverage against the president of the United States by selling her to the highest bidder. And he fully takes her up on this offer. And they end up at this new location where the tech guys that were part of the other operation are setting up the, the area to start this bid and then there's a guy there named Gus and he's not very pleased with this new arrangement he thinks that they should have stayed where they were that they shouldn't alter the plan at all he's just very concerned and just as Olivia is a, striking up a new deal with Ian as to um Ian basically says I'll let you have a choice as to who you get sold to so that you're not into the hands of some really shady people <laughs> pot meat kettle um they're about to shake on it and then bam Ian gets shot in the head and blood splatters all over Olivia and he is dead dead this time for real because <laughs> remember the last time they faked it and made it seem like he died but this time we actually saw it happen and Gus pulled the trigger and he was just not trying to be part of this plan so now he is the new man in charge and he's telling the two techs how it's going to go down. So, of course, Olivia is completely in shock. She's traumatized because the one man who she thought she was um, able to talk to is now dead. And now the man in charge is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and I don't think there's any getting through to that man. And at one point, he comes up to her, and he's like, like touching her lip, and he's all like, oh, you know, I can take care of you. Oh, it's really gross. I mean, all the guys on the show are just douchebags, okay? <laughs> so... She realizes really quickly that she's going to have to try to talk to the two techs and try to see if they'll help her out. And she's, you know, Olivia is a woman with the words. But in this case, they fall on deaf ears because um, money talks and she is, like he said, a billion dollar baby. So we also find out that Huck has like two billion dollars just tucked away under his pillow because of all the money that they were basically funneling out of the federal government into B613. When they shut it down, he thought, hey, I should take a parting gift for all of my my months and weeks of torture. So Huck has like $2 billion just stashed away. Yeah, Huck, I don't know what to say about Huck, guys, because we all know that Huck is, you know, a few bottles short of a six pack. But in this episode, he took it to a whole other level. And they enlisted Mama Pope, um in this because basically you in order to bid you needed to be really bad and you need to be like a terrorist kind of bad and the only person that they could really go to for help with getting in on this bid was mama pope so they went to the prison to talk to her to try to get her to help them out and she does but of course it takes a couple of uh negotiating skills to get it done and she does so huck is now sent there sent out to try and get these guys to give up the information but in order to do that he basically has to kill them all so he gladly does and we all know that Huck has been to AA not for drinking people 
for his obsession of killing people. And I feel like he has completely fallen off the wagon after today's episode because he literally guts everybody that is in the room. And I think it was like five or six people. And when Jake walks in, he's all like, Huck, dude, <laughs> give me the knife and I will behead the rest of these people. Like when Jake is saying, don't worry, I'll take care of the beheading. <laughs> whole episode is on a whole other level of crazy but yes those are the kinds of conversations that are going down in this week's episode um so yes jake continues to saw off a man's head yuck with everything that's going on in the news right now this image was just not what i wanted to see um so we also get andrew um getting cornered by Cyrus. They want him to resign from the White House because they feel like he's played his last hand and he is he's endgame now. Like there's he has no more moves to make. But he is refusing to step down. And this is of course when he threatens to take down the presidency if um, it is like if it comes out that he had anything to do with faking his own assassination attempt and all that, he's basically saying, I'm going to take down the president. And then he goes to Melly and he's like, I'm going to take you down. If I go down, I am telling everybody that you hooked up with me and I'm just going to burn down the whole place. Basically just going to burn it down. So this leads to another really great conversation between Melly and Fitz. I thought they had a really great conversation in last week's episode when he, she was honest with him and said, look, I've been hooking up with Andrew. And then she told him, look, I know that you love Olivia. You wouldn't, we wouldn't be going through all of this if you wouldn't do anything to save her life. So again, in this episode, they have another really great conversation. They're out on the, the veranda, which we're getting a lot of use in this uh, season of Scandal. And she's drinking and Fitz sits up beside her and there he has a drink and they start talking and she asks him, like, what is it that you want? Anything that you, what, what is it that you really, really want right now? And he says, I want Jerry back. And she says, okay, well, what is it that you want that is actually attainable? And he says, I want Olivia back. And she, of course, says, yes, life is always better when she's between the two of us. We sleep we sleep better when she's between the two of us. I was like, OMG, these two and their honesty is killing me right now. But I like it. So then she says, ask me what I want. And he says, okay, what do you want? And she says, I want to be the president of the United States. And I thought that was awesome because let's face it, Melly really is the president of the United States. And she... Everything that she has done to get to this point, she should be the president of the United States. And when she basically went to Fitz and said, we have to let Andrew walk, we cannot try to throw him, like get him arrested because he's going to tattle on me and that can't happen because I need to be able to be in the clear so that when you're done, I can run. And Melly says this with conviction and I love it. And Fitz looks at her and says, okay, well then Andrew walks. And it's like this really mature conversation between the two of them. You know, he's basically saying, I want Olivia because I love her. She's saying, I want the presidency because that's what I love. And they have this working relationship right now that is really, really good. And it feels weird to say this, but it seems very healthy. Cause she's even the one that says, how are things? Like, where are we at with Olivia? And he says, oh, we could probably get her back in the next 24 hours. And she's like, well, that's good. And it's just kind of like, <laughs> very strange, but strange in that way that works. And I'm kind of liking the way that the writers are going with this and not the constant fighting and bickering between the two of them. Because if we're not going to have him actually leave her, then let's have them work as a united front. And that, I think, is far better to watch than to see them constantly like snipping at each other and, and being resentful and mean and, and all that kind of stuff. So, of course, you know, now we're at the point where Fitz is trying to get in on, like, they're in on this auction, but they're not really able to bid. Huck and them have figured out how to get in on this bidding, and they try to start getting in on the action when all of a sudden the bidding stops. And they're freaking out because they don't know what that means, and Huck is basically like, it's over. Olivia is dead. And... That's basically where we're at. The The head of the, um, is it the CIA, is telling Fitz that Olivia is basically a threat because she has so much information on national security that they need to neutralize the situation, which means take her out. And Fitz just ain't having any of this. So he just freaks out in the situation room and he just tells them, you guys need to figure out a plan, an extraction plan, because she is not going to die. And 
it's hard to hear, but it's true. Like she just has too much information. So they do need to end this threat. And of course, then we have the scene at Pope and Associates where Huck is telling Jake and um, Quinn that Olivia is toast because it doesn't matter who bought her. They're just going to sell her off piece by piece. They're going to use her to blackmail the president. And if he doesn't, you know, um, give in to their demands, they're just going to send her body parts and then you know until he doesn't start thinking of her as a person and it's just and he's just being so visible visual with his description and Quinn's freaking out and it's just so ugh, it's horrible and um but it's the truth it's the truth this is what happens when terrorists get a hold of something that you want they're going to use them until they're of no use to anybody anymore and that is the situation but i personally believe that papa pope is behind this whole deal and they're saying that iran has bought her and i think that there's obviously something bigger at play here um so yeah a lot went down in this episode we had some real power plays going on this guy gus making his power play over ian and then of course andrew trying to play his hand with melly and the administration um, so that was kind of crazy. And at the end of it, it's just like, where do we go from here? And I thought they did a really great montage with the, all these people. I think he said, Fitz said it was like 43 American soldiers that have died going to this war that he created because he was too afraid to kill Olivia. He's now killed 43 people. And as a result, they have to get Olivia back. And I thought it was a really good montage that they had at the end there. Um, with, you know, seeing the bodies uh, or seeing the, the coffins with the American flag over them and seeing Melly there and just hearing his voice. And I thought it was a really powerful scene and them saying that they are going to do whatever, they have to do whatever they can to get Olivia back because all of these people could not have died in vain, basically. Um, and then at the end, end we see Gus and pulling Olivia out of the car and they're about to make the exchange in Iran, I guess, with these uh, the highest bidder. So we'll see what's going to go down next week. I have no idea. I have honestly no idea where this storyline is going, and I kind of like it. It's a bit crazy, and I kind of like that too. Um, there's just a lot going on, and the fact that they just killed Ian, because, hello, let's face it, we thought Ian was going to be around for a little bit longer. He even told Andrew to shove it, that he was now in charge, and that he was taking Olivia, and he was, he had, there's a new plan in play, and even Andrew was like, no, we got to return Olivia. Like, at the end of this, she's got to go back to the president, or else we're in big trouble, and he's like, yeah, too bad, my plan's now in play. So you're thinking, okay, Ian is going to be in charge for a little while, and then, bam, he is taken out. So that was all just nuts. Um... Yeah. Wow. I enjoyed this episode. Can't wait to see what happens next. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode. Like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye guys.